You are listening to the Horse Radio Network, part of the Equine Network family. Greetings, everyone. Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily, episode 1503. Today's tip is an excerpt from the Horses in the Morning monthly horse training episode with Mary Kipsmiller, where we touch on one of the many ways giving to pressure plays into horsemanship. Today's episode is brought to you by Sentinel Horse Nutrition. Some people don't think horses and people communicate. We call those people not horse people. Not horse people don't know you and your horse share a unique bond or that your horse knows you know they like your dogs. But not so much the barking. At Sentinel Horse Nutrition, we don't knock not horse people. We're too busy focusing on horse people's horses. With extruded nugget feeds for exceptional nutrition and formulas for every need, our wide choice of feeds makes it easy to find the fit for your horse's health. Find theirs at FeedSentinel.com. Teaching your horse to give to pressure. Now that seems like a no-brainer. And if any of you guys have followed, you know, different trainers of various disciplines, um, they'll well, they'll all tell you that your horse needs to understand how to yield or give to pressure. So yeah, teaching your horse to give to pressure, and that seems like a no-brainer. But there are so many ways to teach your horse to give to pressure, and so many body parts you want your horse to learn to give. Um, so a lot of these questions involve uh, teaching a horse to tie, teaching a horse to pony, important things to teach your colt when you're starting them. Um, and then one horse, I believe, has a phobia, uh, has a specific problem surrounding his pole and pulling back. So um, that is a very important thing you want to teach your horse to give to because most of us are going to tie our horse up at some point um, or we want to lead our horse. We want to get our horse onto a trailer or we might want to pony another horse. Um, so teaching them to give to pole pressure not only is going to be very practical, but you can actually end up saving their life because there can be all sorts of accidents that happen if the horse is um, – fearful of pressure coming, uh, around his pole. So like the halter pulling behind his ears. So how I teach this, I don't just put the horse in a situation where he's going to fear pole pressure and just say, well, deal with it. Good luck. Because horses being a prey animal and being an animal that, you know, their legs are their freedom and their safety and their lifeline. If something scary happens, they need to get away. If they can't get away, the next thing they're going to do is they're going to fight. Um, and this is, you know, for a horse, something times we don't think about, um, what goes to a horse's mind where we see that it as a simple thing, like, I'm just going to tie you to the wall while I brush you. A horse might look at that if he hasn't been trained to understand, he might look at that like a life or death situation. And he might think you just trapped me. And I don't know that there's not a mountain lion behind, you know, the arena wall. And I have to save my life now. And if I can't run away, which might be the first thing he tries by pulling back, he will do whatever it takes to get safe, which might be flipping over, breaking whatever he can break to get out of there. So, um, you know, we might see it as, oh, he's being naughty. But for him, if we haven't prepared him for it, he might think this is life and death. I have to save my life now. So how we how I teach this is um, I you like to use a, a halter and a, a, you know, lead rope with some length on it. At least 10 feet is pretty good. And I might start with something as simple as um, I'll stand in front of him and I will comb my hands down the lead rope, not pulling the lead rope, just kind of putting slight pressure on that rope by just sort of massaging my hands up and down that lead rope and like pulling the lead rope towards my chest. And I might close my grip a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. And the horse might just sit there kind of stretching his head neck forward, not really doing anything. And I'll just keep doing this over and over until he comes forward and takes a step forward and then I release pressure. And at that point I may, you know, rub him on the face. I may give him a cookie. Um, but that's the first step And Hey, you're going to feel slight pressure on your pull. And now you need to come forward. Well, there you have it. Horse Radio Network has thousands of engaging podcasts for horse people, and you can have them sent right to your phone. Just subscribe via your favorite podcast player. This is Coach Jen, and I will be back again soon with another tip. Until then, go ride your horse. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements made by guests on the Horse Tip Daily. Please use your own judgment when listening to the tips on this show. <laughs>